what happened is geographers they were studying landforms as they were studying landforms they were generally concerned on the landforms on the earth's surface right and it was assumed it was assumed that the ocean is a flat feature ocean mein koi landform hi nahi it was assumed that the ocean is a flat surface it has no feature but when your world war 2 happened after world war 2 or during your interwar periods many submarines were used while many submarines were used many ocean expedition took place and we realized that ocean is not a simple flat feature surface ocean inside the ocean waters there are various landforms we have mountains we have chain of mountains we have islands we have trenches so it is not a simply flat feature in ocean there is a flat surface also called as the deep ocean plain plain also called as the abyssal plain but despite that we have other features on the oceans also the other features like if this is your continent okay as you move from the continent towards the ocean we have a continental shelf theek hai ye jo continental shelf hai this is the uh, surface water this is the water that is being shown right this is the uh, this is your ocean crust right this is the continental crust which is denser this is a uh, denser okay this is a uh, 1 to 3 km thick this is uh, average 50 to 60 km thick this is lighter this is made up of granite and andesite oceanic crust is made up of basalt granite andesite basalt they are a type of igneous rock all of them are igneous rocks igneous rocks are also known as primary rocks there have been a question on the primary rocks as we went into the ocean we saw that ocean has various features like we have continental shelf you have a slope called as the continental slope here you have lot of deposits that are kept, kept. they are called as continental rise okay if there are if there is a trench that is present okay this is continental shelf continental slope if there is a trench that is present you will not have continental rise because sare deposits they will go inside so trench trench is like a gap can you see a gap a gap can be seen on the ocean surface so this is a gap if you look at mariana trench it's like a gap and the deepest point of the trench is called as deep the deepest point of the trench is called as deep if you look at the earths we have around 11 km of challenger deep and if you look at the highest mountain that is the average is 8 km so the entire relief is from top to most bottom is the earth relief is 20 km 8 plus 11 this is your trench then you have can you see the chain of mountains the chain of the mountains this is your mid ocean ridge ridge is elevated plateau any elevated land is called as ridge so this is your mid oceanic ridge and along with that you have certain sea mountains the sea mountains okay these are called as sea mounts or they are volcanic some of them are volcanic islands if you look at the sea mounts certain sea mounts they are well under the water and they have a flat top so a sea mount a volcanic island or an island ocean island with a flat top but is not reaching the water is called as a geos what is a geo it's a, a flat top sea mount a flat top sea mount okay what happens is this is a volcanic island okay the volcanic island can over the time get eroded and it can then become a geos it can get over the time it can become eroded the top can become flat and this will become much lesser in height so these are sea mounts and geos so we have in the oceans we have continental shelf slope continental rise we have trench we have the mid oceanic ridges they are the mountain they are the we have the abyssal plain or the deep ocean plains right we have the volcanic islands we have sea mounts we have geos we have the geos okay so this is your ocean bottom relief in the ocean bottom relief 
what is the major zone where oil and gas and the fishes are found on the continental shelf here this is the major oil and gas region this is the major fishery region why major oil and gas region marine organisms small small marine organisms over the time they will be accumulated as they accumulated they will be compressed as they will be compressed you will have oil and gas so what are oil and gas these are resources from the marine organisms if in india can you tell me some of the regions where we have oil and gas bombay high and big boy and gujarat the bombay kach kach shaurashtra shelf and you also have some amount at the odisha so generally you will see the point that i'm trying to make here the point that i'm trying to make here is oil and gas oil and gas they are found at the continental shelf in india we have kach and shaurashtra shelf we have bombay high theek hai if you look at katak the katak shelf that is near the odisha somewhere at the krishna godavari basin too so these are at the See, these are at the continental shelf now the continental shelf we have major oil and gas resources in the deep ocean in the deep ocean we have other resources that are also found the ocean is also mined your ocean is also mined there are mining that is going in the deep ocean basin if you know that india in, in india got right to mine mine ha huh? the manganese modules the polymetallic nodules metal nodules that are found in the deep ocean here we india got a right to mine in the deep in your indian ocean in the central indian ocean india got a mining rights this mining right is given by an international body called as the international international seabed authority theek hai to agar hum ocean dekhe i'm just touching some basics here if you look at ocean uh, the ocean is there a law that governs the ocean the law that governs the ocean is called as unclos under the unclos this is the law uh, governing the oceans the law governing the oceans under the unclos there is a international body that is your international seabed authority the international seabed authority it gives the right it gives the right to mine to mine in the uh, deep ocean basin now you understand the term deep ocean basin the abyssal plain correct the abyssal plain so now india also got a right this is known as isa international seabed authority they were asked a question in 2022 in your prelims examination they were asked about what is territorial zone what is contiguous zone what is uh, economic exclusive zone so unclosed jo hai it marks certain zones it marks certain zones so if this is india okay from the land up to 12 nautical mile what do we have we have territorial waters and uh, then again another 12 nautical miles we have contiguous zone and from this from the land you have eez exclusive economic zone this is 12 200 nautical mile just know these terms we will be dealing with all of them in detail just know these terms the territorial water kya hai contiguous water kya hai exclusive economic zone what is there all of these terms are given by unclos what is unclos united nation convention of the laws of the sea united nation convention of the laws of the sea the usa and china both of them have not agreed to unclos right they have not kabhi koi bhi water ko apna water kehte hain theek hai they are not even a part of unclos now this is uh, your ocean ocean is not a fat uh, flat feature ocean has various features the various features on the oceans are continental shelf continental slope uh, ocean continental rise uh, the trenches or the ocean deep we have ocean ridges we have ocean basins and we have various islands that's what is there in the oceans